And he was so moved and appalled by the squalor and degradation of people who were poor and had no means to get themselves, of getting themselves out of their poverty. And he wondered what he could do as an economist to help. If we're going to get back to Small is Beautiful, there's a, there's a gigantic hill uh, to be climbed. How one can start to, to climb this hill. I'd like to know how do you actually change the attitude about the class system between different castes? I want to ask, I think if Schumacher were alive today, he would be really excited one day and really despairing another day about this whole concept of civil society, big society. I want to ask the panel where they think big society is. I remember reading somewhere that, that Schumacher was described as a nut, and he responded by saying, I don't mind being called a nut. So every great oak tree is a nut that stood its ground. And, uh, and he wasn't a nut. He introduced a theme which was, and I think remains, one of the most important concepts of all, small is beautiful. But I thought just one little quote from the great man himself to give a flavor of the quality of his thinking. Um, and this from Small is Beautiful, in which he said, there is wisdom in smallness. It is time that we get put more wind in the sails of the philosophical and intellectual legacy of bold, challenging inquiry that E.F. Schumacher represented. This issue of the fragilizing uh, sort of consequences of scale and size, not only the uh, too, too big to fail, the systemic consequences, but also the internal uh, riskiness that comes with size, that kind of hidden threat. We in the UK are bound more closely to India uh, than to those other members of the BRIC countries. Uh, it's, statement of the obvious in a way, by history, language, trade, culture. So rural India is in one sense, if we choose to see it that way, our other self. Dil 